Timbuktu. Fix an arrangement of timers in the bombs this time. That after the first blast, the second bomb goes off after 10 minutes. And the third one, 10 minutes after the second. Understand? Uh, understood, boss. I understood. You want to blast a bomb in every 10 minutes. But that is not required, boss, because our den will be totally destroyed in a single blast. What do you need those many blasts for? You pumpkin head. I didn't mean our den. I meant destroying for shotguns. When the first bomb blasts, then I'll send a message on TV and ask them to surrender real to me, else I will completely destroy for shotguns. And then Dr. Prim Sahib will have to hand over real to me. Meow. You're genius, boss. Super duper genius. She is right, boss. She is right. Where are these tic-tac sounds coming from suddenly? As if all the clock ticking sounds came together as one. Boss, all the clocks on the bombs are ticking at the same time, boss. Turn off the remote button quickly. Otherwise, we all will be destroyed. <laughs> Oh. Huh? We all are about to get destroyed already, boss. The remote button is broken, boss. Timbuktu, go and plant bombs in the entire force of guns. Go now! As for the recent news, there has been a big bomb blast in Pursat Ganj, and thankfully no lives and properties were harmed in the blast. But the man behind this bomb blast has sent this message. Dr. Prem, you know exactly what I want. You better hand him over to me, else there will be a bomb blast every 10 minutes from now. And Pursat Ganj will be finished! <laughs> You recognize my man very well. He's waiting for you in the market. You can see my thanks to him, Dr. Prime. <laughs> bye bye. Mad Max has done this? Fear, we will have to find those bombs before they start blasting in a loop. How will we find all those bombs in such a short time, Grandpa? Come along with me. I will give you a bomb detecting device. Rest all you know what needs to be done. Hello, Mr. Charter. Where are you going? Hey, didn't you watch the news on TV? There will be a bomb blast in every 10 minutes. I've decided to go out of the town for a few days. Listen, Bunty's mommy. Hurry up now. Then I guess I should go stay in my village for some days too. I haven't been there in a long while. Listen, Emily, hurry up now and pack your stuff. We're going to the village. Daddy, you don't have to worry. Roboboy will save us all for sure. Roboboy can't find all the bombs, Emily, and God knows what places they have planted the bombs. We need to hurry up. Come on. Swing suit on. Swing suit on. Five bombs. I should check which one is going to blast first. Oh, this bomb is going to blast first. Hello, Grandpa. I am relaying the positions of those bombs to you. The bomb near the tower will blast in three minutes from now. I will try to defuse it. You inform the police about the rest of the bombs so that they get to their work. Yes, Veer. I am looking at the screen here. Very well done. I will call the police and tell them the location of the rest of the bombs. You defuse the bomb near the tower. Hurry up, we don't have time. Okay. Ha! 
Excuse me, mister. Could you please hold this bomb for a minute here? And please inform the police, too. They will take care of it. <laughs> Twist your suit on! Twist your suit on. Robo boy! Only ten seconds left! Nine! Eight! Seven, Robo Boy, hurry up now! Uh, Robo Boy, three seconds, two. Uh. Well done, Mister. You're very brave. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Grandpa, I have taken care of one bomb. And I had informed the police about the location of all the other bombs. The entire police force worked together. They found all the bombs and defused them all already. But uh, they just couldn't find the one at the railway station. I will check that right away. I am mad. Very, very mad. How did the police force find all the bombs all of a sudden? Hello, Grandpa. This bomb seems to be moving. How is that even possible? How can the bomb move on its own? Grandpa, this clearly means that the bomb wasn't in the railway station. The bomb was in the train which was docked there. And now the train is on the move. Grandpa, this train is going to Rajpur. And I heard Emily's dad talking about going to their village. Perhaps they're in this train. I will go and look for the bomb now. Veer, be careful. Grandpa, I will go right away and help Veer. You better stay here, because you can't do anything to help him in this. name now. There is a bomb in your compartment. Ask everyone to evacuate the coach. Ask everybody to go in the other coach. Hurry up now. There is a bomb here. There's a bomb here. Evacuate now. Not here, Emily. The coach where you were sat before. Go quickly now. Send everybody to the other coach immediately. Move. Ah. Uh, uh. Listen, dude, we don't need you here. Emily is doing your job very efficiently, you know. Huh? Ugh! Let go off me! That bomb may blast any time! That bomb will blast in just one minute, and the train will rip apart. He has clutched me with magnetic rays because I am made of both metal. But I have a solution to that. Anti-magnetic rays on! Anti-magnetic rays on! This battery has to get low now. Ugh. Ugh. It will be very difficult to save the train if I don't charge the battery soon. Robo Boy, hurry up! The battery is getting low. The power is almost exhausting. Hold my hand now. You can charge the battery inside the coach.
Thank you, Emily. Welcome, Robo Boy. Okay, bye-bye, see you. Only five seconds are left. The bomb is on your back. <laughs> 